Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how I use the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 as a portable vertical monitor to code while traveling. So I typically travel about 20% of every year, all while working full-time as a software engineer. Now this means I frequently find myself coding and writing on the go, and thus I've sought ways to stay productive even when I'm away from my primary workstation. Now I've been using the Lenovo M14 portable monitor for the last several months as a secondary monitor for my travel workstation. So in this post, I'm gonna share how I'm using it and why I like it. So here I am in my parents' kitchen, so obviously I don't have my normal workstation with all my monitors and keyboards and stuff like that. So everything I need to go has to kind of fit in my backpack here. We've already talked about what's in this, but here we're really gonna focus on the Lenovo M14. And so it fits right in my backpack along with my multiple laptops. I've got my headphones, notebook, camera equipment, Lots of stuff that I kind of carry with me everywhere so I can kind of do anything that I need um, wherever I am. And so it's really important for me is that the Lenovo M14 or whatever kind of secondary monitor equipment I have is small enough and light enough that I can carry with it anywhere, but it also allows for more stuff. So if it's too wide or if it's too heavy, it's just not gonna work with my current setup. And so the M14 itself is pretty thin and it's very light coming in about one pound. I mean, it comes in this little carry case and I've shoved this in, you know, with all my stuff um, on many trips and it's been fine. So this carry case, you know, doesn't seem that heavy duty, but really um, haven't had any problems. And you can kind of see how thin it is um, right here. And the size of it's about 14 inches. So this is probably the size of like a small laptop, probably like an Ultrabook kind of thing. I have the T14S Lenovo um, computer, which I believe is about a 15 inch. So um, if you're used to like smaller computers um, that you're using on the go, this is probably the size of that. Now it's got two USB-C port connections on each side, one on the left and one on the right. And this will supply both the power, but also the video streaming. Um, to actually connect it to your laptop or you know whatever device is actually um, supplying the video. And it's got a power button on one side and then it's got some um, kind of brightening controls on the other, though I've never had to use this. So the weight is about 1.3 pounds, um, which might seem a lot, but it's actually probably one of the lightest pieces of equipment I have in my backpack. Um, so it's actually pretty good. And from what I've seen for monitors, honestly, the, the small size, um, the kind of like thin profile and the lightweight is really the big differentiator between other portable monitors and regular monitors I found. This is the only one I found um, that really fits with all of my other stuff and I can actually comfortably carry it um, on the go wherever I am. And it actually is a pretty decent monitor itself. I have a whole video on what all I kind of carry um, day to day with me in my backpack and when I'm traveling. So you can go watch that if you wanna learn more. Um, but now I wanna kind of focus on how I'm actually using this uh, for, for coding on the go. And so this is how I kind of set up my M14. I have the M14 as a vertical secondary monitor because I like vertical monitors. And then it connects just via, via this USB-C here. Um, and it can obviously also work in a horizontal form. And so I find that having an extra monitor boosts my productivity for software engineering tasks by about 40%. The primary gain comes from keeping more windows of information in context. This means less context switch loss from flipping between videos or between windows. And you kind of see this here, right? So like I got my main post here, um, but then I've also got this video feed right here. Whereas if I'm on, a, I'm on a one monitor, I can't keep all of this in contact. And my personal preference is to have my secondary monitor vertical. Um, I'm typically using this for my primary document. So it's my B code or notes or design docs, stuff like that. And you can see here that I have this post um, in the vertical monitor. And this is kind of like how I code and, and write and stuff like that. Now I find this increases my focus on the main thing, which is usually the largest bottleneck for deep work. And for more of my thoughts on this, you can read um, this post right here on vertical monitor. And so at first, like the Lenovo M14 may not seem like a great choice for vertical monitor. Usually it's kind of shown here in the horizontal and it can work fine for that. But actually this kind of simplistic design, this um, very simple kickstand in the back makes it pretty good for vertical as well. And this is one of the big reasons why I've chosen this. Just be very careful that you are putting the power button side if you choose to do it in this vertical orientation on the top. Otherwise, you're gonna do what I just did um, and it's gonna keep you know, turning off every time you fiddle with it. 
So I've really enjoyed having a second monitor with me on the go. It drastically improves my focus and productivity when working on non-trivial tasks. Now the Lenovo M14 is light enough that I can take it anywhere and does an admirable job in vertical layouts, even if it wasn't really designed for it. I'm hopeful that good reviews and increased usage on portable monitors will incentivize companies to keep iterating on them to be bigger, lighter, and more effective for on-the-go workstations. I would really love a 15 or 16 inch version of this thing that doesn't add any more weight and is still just as durable um, when thrown into a backpack which I think they can probably do in a few years if people keep buying them. So the question for you is what are your must haves for productivity while traveling? Now, if you like this post, you might also like how to fix the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 portable monitor if it's perpetually going in standby mode. When I first got mine, I thought it was broken, um, but really I was just using the wrong cord. So learn more about that here. You might also be interested in three ways vertical monitors boost focus and productivity for software engineers. And finally, you might be interested in what's in my backpack for travel, where I go into all the other things, very specifics that I kind of carry with me, both in daily carry, but also when I go on trips. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.